Hey everyone and welcome to this new video. So today I'm going to show you my complete Laurel and Hardy collection. There's a few things that I own on Laurel and Hardy so let's get on with it. So first off we have this big old box set here which is the collection and has 21 discs in it. And I got this for Christmas a few years back off my dad. And underneath it shows you all of the movies that are included in this set. You get quite a lot. And uh, because I've had this for a number of years, it does show its uh, wear and tear a little bit. Plus, I got this when I was relatively young. But one of the nicest things about this that I love doing is taking the lid off and seeing and seeing all of the spines make up their bowler hats I just love that a really nice touch that so as I said it has 21 discs in it 21 and these include black and white versions and colour versions of their movies so if we just take one out they're quick this one is Maritime Adventures Number 16 and you can see there Men of War black and white Men of War computer colour version you do get silent movies in this set but the silent ones are just the standard black and white ones but uh, yeah I love this box set and would definitely recommend this box set to anybody. This is a fantastic set to own. I also have in this set, I put this in here, this is On the Trail of the Comedy Mine, a documentary. Got this from the pound shop years ago. Years ago. Uh, basically, this documentary is done in the Laurel and Hardy Museum where it used to be and it's uh, the creator of the Laurel and Hardy Museum Bill Cubin talking about the the history of Laurel and Hardy sadly Bill Cubin is no longer with us anymore my dad had the uh, privilege of meeting him and he said he was just a lovely bloke but uh, yeah it's not too bad the documentary looks like it's been recorded on a old camcorder but uh, yep that's the box set if I can get the lid back on properly so just move that over to one side next we have the slapstick 3 film Laurel and Hardy collection and this is when Stan and Ollie started working for 20th Century Fox we'll have the 3 films there and we have the second box set the knockabout three film collection again 20th century we have the three films there and this is when Stan and Ollie weren't at their very best their best stuff really really was when they were with Hal Roach Studios which is probably their best. Next is Bonnie Scotland and the Devil's Brother, which I'm surprised wasn't released in the 21 disc box set, but uh, so I just had to get this one with these two. The bonus disc is quite interesting as well, has documentary on there with other silent comedians and like the history of the L. Roach Studios and I think it has a rare colourised two minute short I think or something I can't really remember next is Laurel and Hardy scene double plus 15 minutes of fame two documentaries here on one desk um, not the greatest of documentaries I've got to say but uh, 
still worth watching. I'd probably say scene double is probably the better of the two. But uh, the best documentary on Laurel and Hardy really does have to be this one, which is Laurel and Hardy, The Lives and Magic. So I own this on DVD and Blu-ray, and I would actually recommend the DVD for this. The reasons will be clear in a minute, but uh, the DVD is region free, as is the Blu-ray, which I will show you. So it's a uh, region free, and the, the DVD of the documentary is on for 105 minutes, and we get a bonus disc in this as well, and that is on for 70 minutes. Plus, we get five bonus postcards. In there. As for the Blu ray version of Laurel and Hardy, Their Lives and Magic, the pitch quality on this is brilliant, the sound is good, it is region free, but the documentary is only on for 92 minutes. So you're missing out on what? 13 minutes is it? Something like that. Plus, when they interview these European comedians or whoever, they speak in French, German or whatever, and there are no subtitles on the Blu-ray. But there is on the DVD. So, they're the reasons why I would go for the DVD rather than the Blu-ray. Next is Laurel and Hardy in The Flying Juices. This is a Blu-ray copy. So this one's a good film. Where they join the Foreign Legion. And then Ollie dies at the end and comes back as a horse. Yeah, a horse. And Stan plays the bed harp as well in that one. <laughs> Next we have the BBC drama Stam, which I have seen, I thought it was qu quite good, it was uh, watchable, but uh, I didn't think it was amazing, but uh, as a Laurel, because I'm a Laurel and Hardy fan I just had to get it, plus I got a copy from my dad a few years ago and never got myself one, so I had to get myself one. And finally we have this which is a 4 DVD and magazine collection of the golden age of classic comedy. And this includes a DVD on Charlie Chaplin, Harold Lloyd, Buster Keaton and Laurel and Hardy. So let's put that to one side. The DVD that's included in this set is here. And... This DVD features The Hobo, The Sawmill, Mud and Sand, White Wings, and The Flying Juices. I couldn't care less that it has The Flying Juices on it because I already have it on Blu-ray and the Blu-ray is brilliant. But uh, as for the other movies, they're all silent ones. They're all made like... in. The Hobo, 1917, uh, Sawmill, 1922, White Wings, 1923. So they're all silent movies, and I've never seen these anywhere but in this on this DVD. So I'm glad to get that one, to have that one in my collection. So, yeah, that is my Laurel and Hardy collection. What do you think of it? Let me know down in the comments. Which is your favourite Laurel and Hardy movie? Give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. And until next time, take care and thank you very much for watching.